I think I saw my baby's chart and I can't be the father. We had a difficult birth. Everything is fine, mother is recovering and baby is doing well. I went to talk to the nurse and a chart was up on the computer. I think they listed our baby as type B blood. There was a lot on the screen, a lot going on, and my head was swimming so I'm not certain that's what it said and I'm not even certain that was our kid's chart. We're both type A, we donate blood so I'm 100% certain of our blood types. It didn't immediately register but I checked and that shouldn't be possible, meaning I'm not the father if our baby has type B blood. TLDR, I think my baby has an incompatible blood type and I'm not the father. I'm not sure what to do next. Should I ask my wife? She's still recovering and I don't want to stress her unnecessarily. Can I ask hospital to see the chart? We're already home. Do I just get a home paternity test, cheek swab, and wait to get the results? 1. Oh for shit's sake, just ask the nurse what your baby's blood type is. 2. Seriously, haha bongos, just ask. Nurses and, gasp, doctors, make mistakes all the time? Asking is the easiest way to make sure. And they don't care. It's a small test. I worked at a clinic and I was always willing to retest samples. No skin off my back. Looks good if I did. 3. My significant other's medical charts have said that they were the wrong gender for the last 10 plus years. Sometimes there's mistakes even in the medical community, just ask before blowing your life up. 4. The medical org I go to has started uploading hospital notes where I can see them over the last few years, and the amount of crap in there that's just wrong is pretty wild. None of it has been super important but they 100% do not always get those charts right. 5. My medical notes of my father is dead since I was a teen. I asked him when this happened and he has no memory of his death and subsequent resurrection. 6. Yes. Asking for a Christmas Day paternity test needs to be the tenth thing you consider, not the first nine. There really is no coming back from that. 7. Uh, I think you'll find it's ten lords a-leaping. 8. My exact thought. It was on my baby's chart and that was in our room. But I could have just asked a nurse any time, this isn't complicated, right? Should I confront my wife who just had a traumatic birth that I think she cheated on me because I saw maybe possibly a baby that could be our baby's chart on a computer screen briefly? 8. Exactly. About an hour after my youngest was born I, mom, looked at her and asked the nurse if they were sure she was mine. She didn't look anything like me or her sister or my siblings. My ex-husband has pics of me and her sharing a Who is the imposter? Moment where we both had scrunched brows and were looking at each other with suspicion. Then I verified again that she was indeed mine? Ask. Because that postpartum period messes with your head. But it concerns me. Why do you doubt your wife? Has she given any reason for you to doubt her? Where are these feelings coming from? 9. You don't even know if that was your baby's chart. Go to the hospital and get a copy of the records before you potentially blow up your marriage for something you might have seen when exhausted. 10. Even if it was, you said you think it was type B. Well, what if you misread and it was typo which is very possible? 11. What if you read it right but it was a typo? 12. This happened to me. I was marked as one blood type and thought that was it my whole life until the first time I donated blood. 13. Definitely get a copy and find out for sure. There are plenty of Reddit posts where dudes blow up their marriages asking for paternity tests. 14. There are plenty of Reddit posts where dudes blow up their marriages asking for paternity tests. I never understood why anyone asks. Getting a test is supposed to be pretty easy and discreet. It seems like the rational thing to do would be get tested and never mention it if it turns out to be positive. I feel like it's a very common fear which has become very easy to put to rest. If it turns out to be negative, obviously a discussion is warranted. Even then, who knows? There was a case a while ago on Reddit where the OP's husband confronted her about a negative test and it turned out to be a switched at birth situation. 15. Doctor here, hijacking to add important info. 
A baby can have a different blood type than both parents. Just because you both are it doesn't mean you don't carry recessive genes 4B or 0 that you can pass on to your children. The postpartum period is a very confusing and stressful time in the best of scenarios, but please do a quick Google search before putting this on your recovering wife and spoiling this crazy precious time for all of you. 16. Biology PhD here to support the doc above. This is possible, not common, but it can happen yes. Get a paternity test if you are suspicious but don't come to definite conclusions based off this. 17. Banker here I have no idea what's going on. 18. So. Situation normal. 19. This is the only answer worth reading. 20. Not a doctor here but I did sleep in a holiday in last night, and I concur with the drs above. 21. As someone who once played a doctor in a school play, what they said. 22. Pilot here. I believe both these smart people. 23. Also pilot. I'm just here because autopilot is boring. 24. Quick question can two positive people make an a positive baby? 25. Yes. It is possible. Let me explain a little, it won't be the full picture. What we are taught is usually the common forms of things. Nothing in biology is straightforward, and a lot of things that sound impossible are actually possible. But possible doesn't mean common, OFC. Blood types are weird as well just on their own. Both parents being O, a kid can be O or B, both parents being O, the kid can be B, etc. The possibilities and reasons for these differ. But even something that is 0.1% of the population still equates to roughly 8 million people, so I think in cases like these the rare chance should not be excluded. Here are some reasons why such discrepancies may occur. Cis abiolelli resulting in a weaker presentation. High B presentation. More common in Asian populations. Bombay phenotype, which is not applicable in this case, because no matter the allele it would present as O. Chimerism. Mosaicism. Random freak mutation. More likely causes, laboratory error. Blood antigens are also weird and sometimes don't fully get expressed until a bit after birth so the blood type may actually change a couple weeks after birth and initial blood tests may not be accurate. 26. Yay, I remember being taught in school that two blue-eyed parents can't have a brown-eyed child. But that is also bullshit, cause we have one. I think we are taught an oversimplified version of genetics to get the general gist of how it works. 27. How was he even able to see the chart? Hospitals usually keep their monitors placed so that non-staff can't accidentally see the screen. They also have filters so that you have to sit right in front of the screen to see what's on it. 28. We definitely don't have filters on our screens and not all of them are placed in such a way that they can only be seen by staff. Been working in a hospital for almost five years, labor and delivery unit was one of many areas I worked in regularly. 29. You could ask the hospital, it's the easiest. I'm not sure about blood genetics inheritance. Maybe people here will help. 30. Biologist here. To a type parents, either genotype AA or AO, cannot have a type B e child, BB or BO. Random mutation is always possible, though highly unlikely. There is a higher chance that there was an error in testing or that op saw it wrong. Definitely get baby checked again, op. 31. Definitely get baby checked again, op. Not based on a random chart that only might be his baby's chart. Ask to see the actual chart first. 32. There is also a rare rare possibility that the mom is a chimera of her and an absorbed twin, meaning she has two DNA sets she could pass on. Not impossible and definitely documented before, but very rare. 33. My 17-year-old son is suspected of being Chimera. He absorbed his twin between 20 to 26 weeks gestation. Not sure why that's important. Doctors warn him that because of this and the strange patches of skin that are several shades lighter, he could potentially be carrying his brother's DNA. 34. 
Chimerism could also lead to a result like that, if it is indeed the case here. 35. If there's one thing I've learned from Reddit is you should immediately accuse your wife of cheating. Go stay with your mom and get your mom to also accuse your wife of cheating. Then get a paternity test, and when it comes back that you are the father you get mad at your wife for being mean about it and blow up your marriage. 36. Please don't forget to have all your friends and relatives blow up her phone. 37. And it's not a frank success if he doesn't end up with a row. 38. You are a 32-year-old man? Don't be daft. It makes for a terrible father. Be fucking rational and use common sense. Went to talk to the nurse and a chart was up on the computer. So not necessarily your baby's chart. I'm not sure what to do next. Should I ask my wife? She's still recovering and I don't want to stress her unnecessarily. Can I ask hospital to see the chart? We're already home. Do I just get a home paternity test, cheek swab, and wait to get the results? You are entitled to your child's records. Put in a records request, then go from there. And for the love of God, leave your recently postpartum wife out of this until you have concrete evidence of infidelity. 39. Yeah, this guy's a goober, to put it nicely. I'll cut him some slack since his wife just had a baby and he clearly isn't thinking straight. But come on, he caught a glimpse of some patient's chart on a hospital computer and automatically assumed it was his baby's and that the blood type he thinks he saw means his wife must have had an affair and the child isn't his. This is a great plot for a soap opera. But it also sounds like this man is experiencing a lot of paranoia and may be experiencing some mental health issues. Edit, spelling. 40. So you saw a chart and don't even know if it was your baby's? You're looking for an out, my dude. 41. This was my first thought. He just shrugs off his wife's difficult birth saying she's recovering, which ain't the half of it by any means. She's gone through the ringer and is probably getting the hang of breastfeeding and this guy's got time to kill, along with his relationship on the basis of nothing. No evidence. No empathy. This just can't be real. I really hope it's not. He goes straight to a paternity test, while his wife can probably barely make it to the bathroom unaided. What this woman just went through is completely brushed aside all on this guy's sketchy look at a chart, we don't know whose. What a life ruiner. 42. 110% agreed. I can't even imagine the level of heartbreak and betrayal I'd feel if I were his wife. Like you're in the hospital recovering from giving birth to his child and he sees a chart that he doesn't even know whether it's your baby's and jumps to all this. If this post is real then Op is a real ass for even thinking about saying a word to her. 43. A baby's blood is not a secret. Maybe ask them to get the blood tested again for the proper type, because it could have been an error. Or maybe you misremember her blood type. 44. This actually happened when I was born. My mom is O and my dad is B. They told my mom I was A and she. A blood banker at the time, had them redo it turns out I'm O. 45. Holy undiagnosed anxiety Batman. Delete this whole post, do nothing, and pretend you never saw that random person's confidential medical records. Wow. It's wrong for you to look in the first place, but now you're going to take information you're not even sure is related to your child. Then take it to your freshly postpartum wife and accuse her of cheating on you. Are you like? Did you get hit in the head recently or something? Actually, no fuck it. Just do it. Go ask her. Tell her the whole story. Then come back here and let us know how it went. Fucking hell.